Hello. Welcome to Card Minds. Thank you for stopping by. This is going to be a Scorpio weekly money and career reading from November 4th to the 10th, 2024. Scorpios, welcome, welcome. Let's see what messages we have for this upcoming week. Scorpio weekly money and career, November 4th to the 10th, 2024. Thank you for being here. I hope you are well. Be on the lookout on the here out for the magic word if you're interested in putting your name in the hat for a free reading. All you have to do is put the magic word down below in the comment section and be subscribed. I will pull one name and announce it at the end of the month of November. October. The October free reading is still up for grabs. If you're interested, pop your uh, go over there and um, pop a magic word in one of your readings, Scorpio. There are many of them. Uh, and I will be announcing the free reading for the month of October soon, within a couple of days. Also, there is, for anybody that hasn't um, watched it yet or that wasn't aware, I did a birthday special for Scorpios. Uh, it's a special energy reading. Um, if you're interested, uh, the link will be at the end of this uh, reading, and I'll try to remember to put the uh, link down below. So... Happy birthday again to all Scorpios, and go check it out if you haven't yet. All right, let's get started. Grab your best headphones, earbuds for a better sound. And let's get started. I have a bit of a cold, yes, so bear with me. I'm on the mend, and hopefully I'll be ready for Sunday's Live. Hopefully. Uh, but let's begin. And also, uh, one more thing. I have the windows open because it's very warm where I am. And so uh, if there's a little, a little noise, apologies for that. All right. Here we go, Scorpio. November 4th to the 10th, 2024. Money and career. What do we need to know? What is the message for this week for Scorpio? Oh, look at that. You have the stars. Success. Creativity. Perseverance into success. Starting off with fireworks Scorpio you are the star here we go beautiful all right let's see um well let's see what this is all about how what is this success all about what are you creating what have you persevered in what is this all about is this a job this is a project let's see Let's pull a few cards here to see what this is all about. This moon keeps coming up. This is, you know, some some weeks we have cards that keep popping up. I've done three readings or four, I don't know, and the moon, the moon keeps popping up. Okay, uncertainties, needing answers, needing clarity, you're not sure, or you feel like someone's not saying the truth. But let's see, we'll, we'll, we'll clarify, we'll clarify. Let's see what else we have coming out. Scorpio weekly money and career November 4th Queen of Pentacles Taurus Virgo Capricorn Ten of Swords the end of something you're done you don't want to deal with that person anymore or you don't want to be in that energy anymore what else do we have for Scorpio and then we'll clarify okay you're learning something new or you're starting something new you're on a new project you're 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 excited about a project okay so you're letting go of something or you're done with someone can be this queen of pentacles it can be taurus virgo capricorn where you don't you felt stabbed in the back fright by someone or you needed the truth you got the truth and then you felt stabbed in the back and then you have this page of swords i'll pull more cards and the star so I feel like you're moving into something more gentle, more smooth, right? An energy that's softer after challenges, after having co difficult conversations or understanding who who's on your side, who's not, revealing truths, revealing emotions, whatever this is. We'll pull cards on this. I feel like there's a few more cards that want to come out. You have this star, so you're moving into something softer, you're healing, um, you're also wanting to create something. 
And I like the star because it's not only bridging the gap between dream and reality, right? Um, uh, maybe you had a dream, maybe you have a, um, a job you really want, or maybe there's a project or you have a, an idea, a product. You have this page of swords, which is learning new and being excited, sort of really this witty, exciting uh, energy that you're working on something new, you're really enthusiastic, and maybe you're talking with other people or maybe you're learning, maybe you're learning a new skill or, or taking classes on something. Uh, Page of Swords is that new idea and that excitement of the new, right? But also the, the star is going back to something or back to sources. Doesn't No, not back to something, because I always say back to something, and I don't know why I say that. Back to sources. Uh, sources maybe you used to have or sources that are important to you. People with knowledge, people with ideas, or where you can gain knowledge, or where you can gain source of creativity, or gain ideas, right? That's what the source is all about or back to people that are essential for you, people you trust, people you would like to work with, something like that, something that's important, or back to nature, or back to what is just essential for you right now. That's what the star is all about, but it's also being able to blossom and grow in a calm energy, finding your inspiration at peace, feeling protected, serene in a calm energy, and then be able to create and be inspired um and this is it feels like the future of your career it feels like you're entering a new career or entering a new energy with really much more serenity and harmony um you're finding your tribe you're finding your people you're finding your job you're finding your team to be able to create that is really a beautiful message here. And it's also with the Page of Swords, something new. Apprenticing, learning, training. Now, not everybody has to train, but it's definitely um, tapping into people or, or, or sources that are going to give you that inspiration to create to be in the new job, in the new business, to expand your ideas or create whatever talent, right? Whatever it is that you want to create. Maybe you're an artist, right? Okay, here we go. So we have Knight of Cups. Wait, I'm going to just put this up a little bit. Put these here. And then we have Knight of Cups moving forward on a dream idea, on something... Um, that really is close to your heart. It's emotional. It's creative. It's a creative project. But it's also something where you're very... Um, you're very emotional on this. Moving forward. Nights are all about movement forward, right? But it's, it's the, the project or... the motivation you have to make a dream reality or make something creative a reality, an art project or something you feel called to do based on your emotions, your imagination, your intuition, right? It's time to turn this on. This is a passion of yours or a mission you have. This is you want to make this happen. Um, this is something like if you don't make it happen now, you're not going to be able to make it happen. And you have the death card. There you are, Scorpio and the knight of pentacles. And so you have the death card between two knights. Action, transformation, action. Emotional, creativity, transformation, and planning, being very committed, and taking your time to roll it out. Plan it, strategize, step by step, don't rush it. This is yet another big transformation within the transformation, Scorpio, but you always, pretty much always have your card in your readings, always. 
you have an eternal transformation. And it goes from emotional to creative to intellectual to connections with others. Um, I mean, you have the whole gamut. Every day, all day, there's a little transformation of awareness, of understanding of someone, of understanding of emotion, anything, right? Um, all right, let's see. Let's see what this star project or star or successful idea or creation, what is this all about? And you have perseverance here. So it feels like you've persevered in this or you really want to persevere in this. Yeah, there we go. Ace of Cups. What is this star all about? This is a new beginning. Yet again, Scorpio. Or finding your tribe, finding your team. Um, that joy of working on something really cool or that you have been really wanting to be part of or right with the ace it's now this is all about understanding that or understanding that this is really what what you wanted to do or this is really the time, or these are really the right people that you're connected with that are gonna open doors for you or make it happen, or you are really comfortable now working with these people, finding the right team, being in the right space, being inspired with the Ace of, Ace of Cops. Right? It's, it's really, now, whether it's a new job, a new business, you're finally able to develop your project, to develop that idea, or to show your art, whatever art it is, music, uh, you know, uh, you're an artist, you're writing, you, whatever, right? This is like fully and authentically expressing yourself, being able to fully and authentically express express yourself, your intuition, your emotions, your talent, your creativity. Wow. And you have the chariot. Determined, pushing forward, but also with a free spirit. I like the chariot, right? The chariot, you know, we all like the chariot. The chariot is, it, it, you're ready. You can do this. So if you've been hesitating or it wasn't the right timing or you didn't find the right people or, you know, it, it, people didn't believe in you, which is possible, right? This is the moment where you can push forward, like pure, pure determination. And I feel like now it's the moment where you're like, well, you're not looking back. This is where you're supposed to be. You're supposed to be with these people. Does it really matter? That's where you want to be. And not only you're ready, but, and, and feel comfortable with these people, this is like a healthy foundation, <coughs> a healthy energy. Yes, you have ambition, and yes, you have determination. Maybe you're leading this team. Maybe you're finding, um, you know, very comfortable to lead a team or leader in a project, or this is your idea that you're developing or creating, right? You're finding a real balance there. You know how to do this. You have experience. You're mastering. <coughs> Sorry, let me just grab a little tea. Trying to not push my voice. Um, this is something you master. So I feel like even if there's a learning curve in, I don't think it's a different subject. I don't think this is something you've never done. But you're stepping into a zone, uh, like almost you're become leader or you're becoming manager or you're becoming head of a task or head of a project or it's your idea that you're developing as opposed to working for someone else or something like that. So I don't think that you don't have the capacity and you have to go back to classes or back to this, back to that. I feel like you, you are stepping up in 
either you get a promotion or now you can finally create your own thing, uh, get your idea out there, start your own business, whatever that is. Because with the chariot, it's that victory, that desire of success. But also, not just the desire, but you do have success and it's reaching that goal and you're trusting yourself along the way. The really big trust here of yourself being in the right space and being successful in your task. So that tells me that even if it's new, I don't think it's a learning curve. It might be a learning curve to take on those responsibilities or to be your own boss or to be head of this project or finally find solutions to get your product or your idea out there or your talent. But boy, are you determined and you're these, this is really, really healthy here. So even if someone abandoned ship there or you don't trust them anymore or stabbed you in the back, that's okay. You're moving forward in your own thing and you're trusting yourself. I like that. I really like that. All right. So what is this star all about? I'm going to take the star, pull the star out. <coughs> what is this star all about? I, I don't even know if I want to go towards the moon because I feel like the, the moon is like you're discovering things or having conversations or truths coming out about someone that you don't trust. You know, one of those things. Well, you all right, let's see. What is this star all about? Because you're believing in yourself and you're healing at the same time. So what are you believing in? What is this star all about for Scorpios? November 4th to the 10th. What is this star all about? Yeah. Five of Pentacles and Seven of Pentacles. So you've been waiting, patiently waiting. You've worked hard on this. This has come to fruition, but there is a Five of Pentacles, which tells me that at one point you felt left out or was not enough, or you felt you, you know, people weren't listening to you, the frustration, the frustration of constantly having to prove yourself, talk to people, um, you know, and feeling that no matter what you said, no matter what you did, you felt you weren't heard. You've worked really hard for this. One more card on the seven of pentacles. I feel like you will get just, yeah. <laughs> so you will get justice here. The justice comes out. There's a decision there. You're making a decision, again, here, Eight of Pentacles, you're specialized in what you do. You work really hard over and over and over again. You're very experienced at what you do. Focused, laser beam focused on this product, idea, business, project, whatever it is. You are very focused on that. And there's justice, bringing back balance. So if this... Towards Virgo Capricorn, this person has stabbed you in the back or you don't trust them anymore. Whatever it is, right? Going to be different for everyone. We're not going to delve in that. Justice is bringing back balance to your energy. Finally, finally being in your own energy and being comfortable to be able to create your own thing. Or being with like-minded people and being able to express yourself for your creativity. Be yourself, Scorpio. Be yourself. And that's what justice is all about. Bringing back balance to something that's not working. So whether it's a person that you don't trust, right? You're becoming very clear now. Rigorous, methodical in what you want. The <coughs> you're you're very goal oriented and no matter what you will make things happen and justice is on your side justice is on your side and justice also puts everybody back where they belong. Whether it's you making the decision or someone else making the decision, like I say, or just the universe shuffling things around to bring back balance so it can move forward, 
right? Because I feel like here it's not moving forward and here it's not moving forward, sort of stuck with that person or that energy. Here we have again, the death transformation, letting it go, letting it go. <coughs> and the justice is also a decision that is not arguable. In other words, it's, it has to be done to bring back stability and open the doors to progress forward. Foundation, organization, a logical choice for this to move forward it will always serve you. So if something didn't work out or someone didn't have your back or something happened, just to, justice will be there. Law of cause and effect. It's going to happen at one point. Now, of course, if you battled something and you did something to wrong someone else, well, that's going to backfire to you, obviously. Okay. And the death card. Why is the death card here? So what are you letting go? Am I changing cards? No. Okay. And the death card. Why is the death card here? Why is the death card here? Okay, so this might have been a partnership that you're letting go. Yeah, you're, you're rethinking this whole thing. Again, can be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, this is a person you're rethinking. Why did that happen? And you're rethinking your, your objectives, your goals. And again, again, uh, this is you having to understand that no matter what happens, no matter how you weren't able to communicate with this person or they, it was a misunderstanding or they blocked you or they don't under, you know, they did, you weren't able to communicate with your boss or this is just people are not hearing you or you feel like you're not moving in any way in this job, whatever, right? Whatever. It feels like here, there's a specific person here, two of cups, where you, you're rethinking your partnership or rethinking your friendship or rethinking this connection. I'm just going to leave it at connection um, because it's not going for you, right? And so you're pivoting. You're, you're doing your introspection, eternal introspection right the, the death card over the death card over the death card because i feel like you do that multiple times during the, in, during the day some people never do it in a lifetime scorpio does it 20 times a day the reflection the introspection what did they say how did they say it at what time what was their face what did they look like why did they mean why did they say it and what why did i feel like that and what's going on there i saw them look at me this that that all of that, right? The eternal laundry list. Here we are with a person um, understanding that you have to make your own choice here. Don't depend on anybody. Don't think that they're going to give you an answer or open doors for you or figure it out for you with the hermit, right? understanding that you have to process you have to do the work on yourself and take the time to find solution take the time to move forward in your own at your own speed you will reach that goal you will reach success you will get that job you will get that business up and running you will reach success in your talent in your artistic talent if you want to create something whatever it is but it's going to take time to reflect and take time to bring back balance for whatever put you off kilter it's really a long reflection on your experience on your expertise in your job but also you're so persevering. You're so, you have so much tenacity to make something work, Scorpio. Like I say, when you're in the spot, you move mountains. You will go to depths to make things happen, to depths to help people, to depths to listen to people and show up. You will always show up where other people don't. 
but sometimes at your detriment because people count on you or think you can do it for forever and ever and then you burn yourself on that you went too far too deep it's too difficult and then you have to find that moment of you know resurrection rebirth and here we are again once again two of swords at that crossroads figuring things out choosing a direction choosing you choosing you because at the end of the day you have to choose you if you have to make a decision if you don't understand what happened or you felt left out or you felt unheard or you felt it wasn't going anywhere and the truth wasn't being told or there was no justice there no balance whatever it is trust yourself trust your intuition but be fair be fair that's important to always be fair growing there you go there you go i could almost put this over here growing growing your business growing your creativity nurturing whatever you've planted whatever you worked on here whatever you waited so patiently worked so hard your experience your ideas the jobs the projects whatever this idea that you have that you want to create here you are. You can now blossom these ideas with the Empress. That's what the gem Empress is all about. Confirming the deal. Making it happen. This is solid. But it's also, it's your garden. It's your garden. And maybe it's taken a long time to find that garden. To reach that garden. To grow that garden. You're intelligent, follow your instinct, right? It's all about creative spirit. It's all about that beautiful, positive, favorable period to move these projects forward, to move these ideas forward, to create. This is a period of creation. Go create, Scorpio. This can be also someone very influential around you that's going to help you create, that's going to nurture you, be by your side. This is also understanding, understanding that communication and opening yourself to others and creative spirit is essential. Celebrating over that. And again, we have this page of swords moving forward and moving forward, but also Um, it's like a lot of communication all of a sudden in this period, right? Being alert, full of ideas, that nervous energy, right? Now, again, don't be afraid of emotional confrontation. Now, that doesn't mean that you're going to confront everybody. But if there is a confrontation or if there is a communication to be... Um, understood or that you have to have a conversation with someone that's okay that's okay you have full you're full of goals and if you have to <coughs> take classes take classes because they, maybe that's not something you want to do i feel like right if you need extra education you can get extra education that's cool right yeah i feel like this is really the very early stages of this next career of this next success so try to draw from more experienced people if you feel like um you need a little clarification on something or you know you're in a you're in a moment or a path or in a group of people or a team or a company where you need a little more information don't be shy of that because i feel like sometimes scorpio don't want to show vulnerability or don't want to show that they don't know and so they just won't say anything? No. Be open. If you don't know something, ask. If you need more training, ask. If you need to take a couple of classes, go online, take a couple of classes. That's cool. <laughs> oh, you're making me laugh, Scorpio. You make me laugh. All right, I'm going to leave it at that. It's a good reading. It's positive. Um, 
Let's see if there's one last message for the road, Scorpios. If you're in the mood to support this channel, you can do so by clicking the join button. That'll take you very, very wherever you wish to go. And um, it really helps the channel, so we'd love to have you. Uh, and also, uh, it'll give you access to a free question during lives lives that we do every sunday at 12 noon eastern standard time would love to have you there scorpios um it really helps the channel and i hope i have a voice <laughs> for a live i hope hopefully sunday um i'll be uh recovered all right here we go one last message for the road, Scorpios, weekly money and career. I feel like this is very exciting here. You're growing something or you're part of something really nice. Stand, you, you need, see, that's what the ego. Don't get into that, Scorpio, because it's like you want to win at all costs. You, you want to be right at all costs. You don't want to show vulnerability. You won't want to show that you don't know. You want to show, you know, you're in the, you're there now. You got this, you're in that goal, you're in that, you know, that last stretch where for your business or your, your job, that job you want, remember you have the star there, you will be successful, but don't, don't get into the ego thing. I don't feel like Scorpio gets into that. Scorpio just hides everything instead of, you know, just put yourself out there if you need to. That's okay. Ask questions. Ace of Swords. New Direction. You're going into new direction, and you're choosing this new direction. Yep, there we go. Two of Swords again. Choosing that direction. You're at a crossroads no matter what. Don't fight it. Don't fight it. There we go. Don't fight it. You're healing, yes, but believe in yourself. It's getting calmer, Scorpio. It's going to get calmer. You're going to connect to the right people, to the right sources, Scorpio. <laughs> I hope you enjoy this reading as much as I did. Thank you so, so much for watching. Again, happy birthday, Scorpio. Go check out this birthday special. And there is also the 2025 month-by-month -month, uh, yearly money and career reading for anyone that's just popping into this channel and just discovering this channel. Welcome, welcome to you. Don't forget to subscribe. And thank you so much for being here. And for anybody that is already subscribed and hasn't had a chance to check out the birthday bonus, go check it out. Uh, it's a really lovely reading. Uh, again, thank you so much for watching, Scorpios. Uh, I want to say that, yeah, the, the, the magic word is believe in my success. There we go believe in my success. So if you're interested in putting your name in the hat for a free reading, all you have to do is put the words believe in my success down below in the comment section and be subscribed. I will pull one name and announce it at the end of November. Pop over to the October readings if you that are still, I still haven't announced the free reading. So if you're interested, you can pop over there and put a magic word over there if you want to put your name in the hat for October. Thank you so, so much for watching, Scorpios. Again, uh, gratitude to all of you. You are amazing. You are the, I say it every time, my partner in this channel. Again, all other signs are partner in my channel. You are all amazing. All signs are amazing, but just Scorpio is really very, very, um, very connected to energies and powerful in moving this channel forward. So gratitude, gratitude to each and every one. And obviously you're not alone and obviously every other sign is part of this movement forward. But gratitude to you, Scorpio, for connecting, sharing your energies, sharing your beautiful journeys. Thank you. Have a great week. Take care. Bye-bye.